Well, welcome to the second video interview on Age Civil War. And today we have a very special guest with us, Kevin Levine from Boston, coming to the hot south in early September. And it's literally two days after, or the second day that your book is out, your yeah. new book. Um, Kevin got his master's in history from the University of Richmond. And he has been an incredibly prolific historian on Twitter with the New York Times, The Atlantic, the Smithsonian Magazine, Civil War Monitor, Civil War Times, Washington Post. And he is the author of Remembering the Battle of the, Battle of the Crater and also interpreting the Civil War at museums and historic sites. And most recent, and the one we are going to talk about today, Searching for Black Confederates. Now, the first question I kind of want to ask you, because you have three books in the last decade. You constantly publish, you constantly update your Twitter, you constantly update your Civil War memory blog. I know what's coming. Do you sleep? <laughs> I do. Um, I, I think... Um, I don't have children, so I have plenty of time to do these things, and uh, and I enjoy it. So um, you know, I, I teach, and I you know I try to do a little bit of publishing when I can, a little bit of writing, but um, you know it's it's just part of my daily routine, and it's uh, I'm just sort of uh, grateful that I even have the opportunity to do it. Sure. Yeah. Um, well, then tell us a little about us searching for Black Confederates. How did the book come about? <sighs> yeah. What are you arguing in the book? So the, the book has, the, it has a long history. I, I started blogging about it going back to 2008. Um, you know, I started a blog called Civil War Memory at about that time, and uh, it, it very quickly became just sort of a ready-made, sort of perfect, ideal case study to talk about, you know, the history of the Civil War, the Confederacy, more specifically, memory of the Civil War. And also, you know, there were aspects of education that I, I was sort of interested in, specifically, you know, how this narrative, which we can talk about later, sort of lives on the internet and is misinterpreted, sure. right? So there was that, uh, the question of, of how we are now assessing and searching for information uh, online. So it was, like I said, it was the perfect case study. I had decided a number of times to just put this topic behind me for good and move on. Uh, I knew I would have ended up just sort of kicking myself for not finishing it. And so back in 2015, I really just sort of, you know, put my head to the grindstone and said, I've, I've got to finish this. This is a book that needs to be written. Um, people are interested in the topic and um, maybe I can add something to sort of people's understanding of the Civil War and how myths get made. Good. 